Well, hello everyone. It's great to have you here. This is actually a viewer request. I had asked in one of my last videos for suggestions, and the suggestion I got was for a honey and orange soap. So here you see the honey, which I've mixed with just a little bit of distilled water, just to loosen up, make it easier to add to the batter. Uh, in each of these containers, I have ground mace, ground cinnamon, and turmeric. And these are for color. Uh, and also some uh, French yellow clay there as well. So those are just to add the color uh, to and to make sure that it comes out looking like honey and orange. Um, and then I'm also adding uh, orange essential oil. Now, the request I had was actually for orange blossom and honey, but unfortunately I don't have any orange blossom uh, fragrance, so I'm using essential oil of orange. Um, and that's really, uh, it's a pretty simple and straightforward recipe. I'm not going to do anything fancy. It's going to be a drop swirl and not much different than that. So let's move forward. I said it was just going to be a drop swirl, silly me. I'm also going to be adding in some embeds. I had another soap that I made and I wasn't really happy with and I never even put the video on YouTube and I ended up just scrapping it and doing a rebatch. But I took some shavings from it before I did the rebatch because I did like the design on it. And here those are. I'll take a few out and just show to you. It's nothing too fancy, but I thought since this is orange and honey, this would make a lot of sense. Um, and I hope these show up on camera. I know the light's a little bright there. Let me see. I'm not holding them in the camera. Let me move those up to the camera lens here and should be a little clearer. One moment. I don't know if you can see that, but these were some uh, just funnel pour that I had done. And so I scraped, uh, scraped, took some shavings off of that, and I'm going to use that as the embed. Sorry for the confusion there. So here I have my oils. Um, and what this contains is, of course, the coconut oil, olive oil, um, I've got mango butter, I have meadow foam oil in this case, um, and there was one other thing, castor oil. <laughs> the, uh, that smaller container down there is the uh, orange essential oil. So I'm adding in the lye water here, and I am going to filter that just to make sure that there are no undissolved pieces there. So I did let this come to room temperature, and as you may be well aware, when you let it come to room temperature, sometimes the lye does settle. And this also has uh, Himalayan pink salt in it, which has been dissolved, but it didn't dissolve all the way. And I'd simply add that to help create a harder bar. And generally, I add about a tablespoon per pound of soap. And that's a lot of salt. It's not a salt bar by any means, but it's certainly enough to create a hard bar. So I'm blending this just to a, about a medium trace here before I start separating it out. So here I'm starting to separate it. And you can see that's a mess. <laughs> this uh, batter pitcher does not pour well at all. And I'm going to clean this mess up and be right back. Okay, I got that mess cleaned up there. So I've separated out some there, and I'm going to add my colorant. Mm -hmm. 
And I was going back and forth here with how much I wanted to add. That's why I seem a bit undecisive there. And this will be the last time I use that batter bowl <laughs> for this purpose. So there is my turmeric. You know what I forgot to tell you? That one container down there that I said has cinnamon also has rose hips in it that have been ground up to a very fine powder. I forgot to mention that. So I'm adding in just some of my orange essential oil here to the uh, to the orange. And again, that's just turmeric. So I decided to go ahead and add in the, this is the yellow French clay, to try to temper that orange because the turmeric can tend to have a red orange. So now I'm just going to pour this orange base into the mold. Did I not mention that that also has ground up orange peel in it? <laughs> if I didn't, I'm telling you now, you can see it there. And my hair. Sorry about that. I don't know why I apologize. I can't do anything about it except to get the camera on the other side. But I, it's not really convenient in the room that I'm in there. So I'm going to have to come up with some better way to do that. So now I'm adding in the embeds. And I have not yet learned the perfect way to do this. Um, I do know to put some batter in first. Otherwise, you can end up with a lot of air bubbles. And I'm also going to tell you in advance that I was going to pipe this uh, at the end, but that didn't really work out. I, it was just an idea, and that's why I stopped. <laughs> Sometimes you have to edit yourself. So this was supposed to be the honey color. It didn't come out as honey colored as I'd hoped. This is the cinnamon and rose hips that have been ground up. It's more of a dark uh, honey. We'll go with that. It's really not honey colored at all. But luckily, when soap cures, amazingly, the colors seem to come through. And I love that about soap. I had one soap that turned out the, well, like this one. I want you to look at the color in the mold. Doesn't that look like ketchup or barbecue sauce? But I happen to know that it will, the next day, be a much better color. <laughs> It's just something about the lye and the, the reaction with the uh, ingredients that you can get these odd colors sometimes. But luckily, many times they go back. Sometimes they don't. So really all I'm doing here is a drop. I'm just pouring it in. Now, something you're not going to see here, well, you can see, I forgot the honey. See, it's sitting back there with the whisk in it. <laughs> I forgot to add that in. I ended up pouring some of this back into a measuring cup, adding the honey to it, and then putting it back in. 
and that's why now you'll see it's much darker here. Um, as a rule, you want to add that honey in early on. Uh, keep it cool so that it doesn't burn, obviously, um, and not add it in at the last minute, as I did here. But it turned out fine. It's darker than I would have liked, but that's because of adding the honey in so late. The smell of this is tremendous. You can smell the honey and that orange together. It's just dreamy. It's really fantastic. One of the things I like about using embeds like this is that it gives you a different design on every bar. And here in this photo, uh, or here in the video, I mean, you can see the colors that it are. And then when you look at the photograph, you'll see that it has darkened even more. And um, actually, I like it better now, today. It's every day, it's uh, improving. And these truly are a soap that's prettier in person than in this video. I can see that now. <laughs> so leave me your thoughts. If you would, leave some feedback, your comments. And I really appreciate you folks. Have a fantastic day.